You just cannot help being cute, can you? <laughs> oh, I don't feel so cute. You don't feel so cute. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I feel, I feel like I wanted to kind of work on this part that I don't t tell you about too often. You know, it's. and she said you should really practice on David G. Practice on David G. <laughs> so it's her so fault. It's kind of, it's, <laughs> practice it's on her. David G, huh? What does that mean? <laughs> it's basically that I, you know, I just have so much fear of you. I know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know, but I kind of try and hide it. You know, but it's, you cannot hide it. There has never been a moment when we have spent together <laughs> where there has not been fear. Yeah. It's always there. There is always an aspect of you that is acting to try to look like everything is good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and it really pisses me off. <laughs> Try so hard. <laughs> yes, I know. You've tried so hard to be so good and cheery and do everything and be the best little girl in the world. And the beauty is that now there is the coming up to speak about it because this is the nature of the way that it works. Something trusts deep enough to reveal what was believed to have been hidden and never was hidden at all. Was any of that a problem? No, it was not anyone's choice. But in the deeper and deeper honoring, the deeper and deeper movement to do nothing and just be with, there is greater and greater seeing, and the seeing does the work. And then it is revealed. And then in the revelation, in the bringing it to light, something starts transforming. So what just happened is there was a relaxation, a letting down of the shoulders, a relaxation in the musculature and the body in interaction with me that has not happened before. Yeah, it feels huge. It feels like my heart just opened up some. Yes, your heart just opened up some. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. You know this piece that is so important lies in the recognition that this opening and this release and this relaxation and deeper connection and feeling of greater truth is actually the same as the closing down and the protective armor. There is no right or wrong. There is no one doing any of it. There is a deeper and deeper seeing, and in that the reflection softens. Yeah. So for all of these years, there has been this very clear recognition of this protection, this sense of not really being real together. And yet it never was an issue, because there never was anyone doing anything wrong. There was just a love which permeated through the appearance of any boundaries. In this, the recognition that in its right timing, everything begins to crumble that creates any sense of separation. So here we are. Yeah, 
this space feels so much softer. Yes, it is really connective. It is the first time I have felt this kind of connection with you. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's really beautiful. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is all really beautiful. Every single aspect of it. It's all being orchestrated. It's all doing what it needs to do. Nothing is higher or lower, deeper, or more evolved. It is all doing what it needs to do. And in that, all protection over time begins to unravel because the natural byproduct is trust. So it would be good to listen to again because there is such enjoyment in feeling the space which is beautiful and there is also something helpful at times when things will contract again that lives in the words. <laughs> it's very beautiful to feel you. Mm, thank you. It's so beautiful to feel you without fear around it. <laughs> yes, without fear around it. Mm -hmm. 